Hi and welcome to this simple screen recorder tutorial. So if you're on Linux and you want a free screen recorder that you can use, you can use simple screen recorder because it is because it is pretty lightweight. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your microphone is actually working. So go under settings in Ubuntu. So I'm on Ubuntu and I can go under my settings under sound and just to confirm that my microphone is working you can see my mic my microphone is working and you can just tap on it if you tap on it you can see that sound is being picked up and that's important make sure this is happening and up here also ensure that your system volume is up so that you can listen to audio output and when i'm done with that i can just close this out and let me open up so it is what i'm using to record this video so let me open up a new window of a new window of simple screen recorder and I'm going to minimize that so this is the home screen you can just click continue and here you can choose the default you can leave it at the default and then you can choose the video input what do you want do you want the entire screen for me I want the entire screen so I'm going to choose my screen there if I had two screens I could have I could easily choose the other screen if I had another screen enabled and then you can record at a fixed rectangle so this will give you the option to just select where you want to select where you want to record a rectangle just click and drag to select where you want to record and that area will be recorded you can also select a window if you have applications if you have applications that are running you can choose any of those applications to record you can record yes you can follow the cursor just wherever the cursor go goes the recording will go with that okay in most cases you probably just want to record the entire screen and then of course you want to choose a frame rate for me i've chosen 60 type this in if you want it at 30 10 you just type in the number there and you can scale video so once the video is done you can scale it down you want to maybe you're recording on a 4k screen and you want to scale it down to 1920 by 1080 you can do that there as well and then you can choose to record the cursor follow the cursor you can record the audio now this is a part that usually gives a lot of people headache when you come here make sure you check record audio and then for me i'm on ubuntu so i'm going to choose pulse audio because this is the back end for my audio software my audio driver and then you want to choose the source for me the source is the microphone that i'm using and the microphone that i'm using is that so i'm going to select that there if you plug in a microphone just click there refresh and it's going to and it's going to refresh the list of microphones that you have connected to your computer and in the settings page if your microphone is not is not showing the the signs that it's picking up audio then just unplug it then plug it back in okay and once you plug it back in choose the correct microphone and tap it again to see if it's working because if it is not being picked up under settings then you're probably not going to receive any audio here and then we can just continue then you can choose wherever you want to save it this is easy you can do this just browse and create a folder and then in that folder all your files will be saved in there this will always be the default so you can separate file per segment, add timestamp, all this. If you want to do this, you can do that. If you don't, then you can just leave them unchecked. And then the container. For me, I use MP4 because I'm going to edit the video in Camtasia and I don't want to spend a lot of time converting it. If I use any of these other forms, formats, I'm going to have to convert it because Camtasia will not support them. So video codec, of course, you want H264. This is a globally supported codec. And then constant rate factor you can reduce this if you want a better quality but just know that when you reduce this your computer cpu will be more utilized during the recording and your fps is probably going to drop so if it is not that crucial for you to have a high quality video then just don't really tamper with this too much for me i just leave it there 20. and then preset this just know that the lower you go the more cpu time the more cpu utilization so for me i choose faster but if you want better quality you can just go lower depending on the depending on your cpu and your gpu as well and then the audio you can choose audio here you can use asc or you can use mp3 for me i use mp3 and i use 320 kilobytes because this is a good quality so you should probably just stick with 320 kilobytes as well 
and then continue yeah you can see you can now start recording but i do have a recording that's currently happening so i can click here to start recording or you can do control plus r and that is going to start recording on ubuntu at least you're going to see that you can pause you can stop you can cancel your recording right there okay so if i click here and i say pause recording so if i want to cancel to start the recording again i will just click here and say pause and say pause recording and start when you click on pause it's going to stop the recording and it's going to probably save the video so let's just confirm if the video is saved there was stored inside here and you can see and you can see this is a video that's currently recording you can see this is the one where we paused the recording so if you if you pause the recording it's going to stop the recording and it's going to start it's going to start a new video file and if you're already if you're done recording and you want to save your recorded video you'll just need to come here and you can click on save recording so if i click on save recording this recording is going to end so that's it for this tutorial you've seen how you can use simple screen recorder to record your videos if you want to record your screen if you want to do a screen recording of your computer on linux you can use the simple screen recorder and it's very easy to use and it's very lightweight you cannot even compare this with obs obs is very resource intensive it's not going to work well if you have a medium medium power pc if your pc is not powerful enough you should definitely use simple screen recorder all right that's it for this video if you have any questions feel very free to let me know i will see you in another video next time